So in this proof, we're given that angle YLF is congruent to angle FRY, and angle RFY is congruent to angle LFY, and we're trying to prove that triangle FRY is congruent to triangle FLY. So one thing that's really helpful in this is there's more information than necessary here. This whole segment over here is not going to help you because you're looking at triangle FRY right here and triangle FLY right here. So this whole part, you can basically ignore if you want to. Um, so let's start with the given information here. So the first given information is angle YLF, right here, labeled on the diagram, is congruent to angle FRY, right here, labeled on the diagram. Very important to label it. Let's do the next one. OK, we have angle RFY labeled and angle LFY also labeled. And right there, um, labeled on the diagram, I'm using colors, like this one's in red, to correspond with that one. So let's think here. We need to get this triangle and this triangle congruent to itself. One thing I'm seeing right off the bat is that we have this line segment, FY, that they both share. So obviously, that's going to be congruent because it's the exact same line segment. So you could write side FY is congruent to side FY. And the reason is the reflexive property, because that just says that um, a line segment is congruent to itself. All right, and the last part here, we now have enough to prove that these triangles are congruent. So let's look at why these triangles are congruent. So if we look at the diagram here and we focus on just one of these triangles, you can see that we have an angle, an angle, and a side. And since the side's not in the middle of this, this isn't angle, side, angle. It's angle, angle, side. And same thing on this triangle, angle, angle, side. So there's our reason. And that's our proof.